I don't think you heard Jay's tape. I don't think you heard Jay when he said you need to stand up and be accountable. Don't wait till you get a blood club, put aside your head, or some bullets in your ass or in your back for you to say I need some justice now. We got a whole lot of people in here right now that's getting unjust. That blood jump on the six and seven floor and right over there on the coast. Come on now. Keep it 100 out here. So right now, I encourage anybody from the public to come speak up about the harassment that's going on continuously with our people. And when he said it, he said it right. It ain't just black, it ain't just white, it's government striving everybody to get their ass work. Come on up. Yeah. Uh, afternoon, good morning to everybody. My name is Lucy Joshua, and just like James Keyes, who I very much admire, <laughs> I'm also in the uh, race for the District 10 in uh, uh, Bayview Hunters Point, Trail Hill. You know, it's interesting that um, the, a person talked about the voting rights in jail because I have a request in right now with the Sheriff's Department to allow a, in, in essence, a candidate forum on maybe a Sunday, just like how the inmates have a, um, you know, pastors come in and preachers come in and this sort of thing, then the candidates should be allowed to come in. That way, we're assured, I mean, if you're allowed to vote, shouldn't you be able to meet the people that you yeah. might be voting for? And so far, so far, the Sheriff's Department has not responded to the email, so I guess I'm going to have to give them a few calls. But it's clear that why wouldn't you jump on that? If you're yeah. letting pastors in and you're letting preachers in, yeah. why on yeah. earth would not the Sheriff's Department say, yes, bring the candidates in, let these inmates know when they come out? Because this is at the point, they are coming out. And what this has to be about is stopping and healing recidivism as well. Yeah. Another one of my concerns is, you know, with pr police brutality, because then people, the first thing they say is, well, what about the people who are shooting each other? Well, when you talk to young people out there, how can they have hope in better livelihood and behavior when they personally know of officers who are engaging in behavior that is worse than their behavior. That is where my concern is with our department. And as Rudy said, yes, there are wonderful policemen. But guess what? Just as I, as a community member, if I see some person trying to set up and sell drugs anywhere near my home, I have to step to them and say, you know what? You cannot do this. Yeah. You need to turn your life around. Okay, so if you are an upstanding police officer and you believe in the system and you believe in serving people, then you have a duty and a responsibility to speak and charge your co-officer with that same responsibility. And that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Nancy Joshua, District 10. Y'all give it up. So does anybody else got anything you want to say? Because I don't want to bring, I want to bring Tiny back up here. She want to do a poll. And I want to thank all the speakers, everybody who came up and represent James Keys, Uncle Bobby, Oscar Grant's family right on. Yeah. I know you got a busy schedule, baby. Yeah. But you came out, man, and represent. Family, I know you got an event going on, right? Support that brother right there. Come on, Tiny, come on up. So uh, I'm also a proud member of the Folk Poets Project. That's Poetas Pobres, the Prensa Pobre, a bilingual spoken word project for poor youth, adults, and elders because we don't believe in the separation 